Let's see who we are reading for next. Oh, only one at a time. Capricorn. This is your reading for August. Um, but I did set the intention that whenever you're watching this, it is for the next four weeks. And this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. But I also set the intention that wh whoever is watching this, there is a message for you, no matter where your Capricorn placement is. We're going to start off with the Lenormand to get an overview of the month. Spirit, what is going on for Capricorn of August, next four weeks ahead? Thank you for your clear and accurate messages. We're going to get a triplet. Showing all of you, and we'll do a Celtic cross spread to see what's going on this month. A little Astro Dice, and also an Oracle card for additional messages. What's going on for Capricorn in the month of August? On the bottom, we have a letter. So maybe we're going into this month getting some news today in the form of written communication, a text, or something in the mail. But oh, we are starting off with a book. So garden and ring so it seems like there might be some news or some information some knowledge coming to you this month potentially word of some commitments or a new cycle you might be getting some recognition um, getting out and about more this month Perhaps you'll be coming out um, with some news of a commitment to a person, to a new job. Um, something new that you're committing to. This letter within the book, to, but the letter in the ring together, this could signify that this month you are um, signing a contract of some sort. For some of you, this literally could be like a, a wedding. You know, traditionally this would be like a wedding commitment or a marriage. Um, but it could also be a commitment to a new job. Uh, to maybe an education, taking classes, something you're you're becoming committed to something, and it seems like it will be through some written agreement, or you'll find out about this through written. Let's get some more. This is really interesting. Um, and for the blessing, we have what's number nineteen tower. So it could be um getting promoted at work. Because if you add up the pip cards here, it's 19, and that is a tower. And that's for those who aim high professionally. Um, so it's a lot uh, to do with career and just goals in general. So you could be hearing that you accomplished a goal or getting promoted, got into some program, or are learning some things that are helping you advance in life. But it seems like with this ring here, this is something that you're like, you're committing to your, like some obligation, but like it seems like it's very positive. But we are going to get the tarot and find out more. Spirit, we are going to do a Celtic crossbred for Capricorn. Can you please clarify what we just talked about and also provide more information on what is going on in August for Capricorn? What is going on in August for Capricorn? I'm curious. Maybe you guys know what I'm talking about already. We're going to find out if you don't. Know. What's going on in August for Capricorn? Let's go, let's go. What is going on in August for Capricorn? Oops. Sorry, guys. bottom of the deck we have the tower so maybe some big changes um i look at the bottom of the deck as like energy like going into the month um tower so maybe something just ended or you feel like things are just like some external event happened maybe that will have to do with this knowledge or news you're getting and it doesn't necessarily have to be unpleasant it just is something shocking and that changes like shakes up your life a bit which really does seem like there's some news coming that's in the book here the first card we hit out can be like secrets like because reading was once not widely done it was only for those who were like educated and um uh, very like elite like you know i almost just <laughs> i was gonna say the peasants didn't read oh, okay but we're we're just gonna ignore that that came out of my mouth but um it's it, the point being is that what is written is 
used to be um, secret because everyone couldn't have that, so, um, didn't have the right or didn't have the education. So something secret that was hidden before is coming to light. And I think it's in the news or in the form of written communication. And for you going into this month, we have the Four of Swords reverse. So you could be really tired. Maybe things have been, you know, maybe this tower moment already uh, started. Um, this can also be you not feeling like you're getting recognized for your work and your efforts at work or in general. Uh, and for what your environment is, we have the Four of Pentacles. So, yeah, maybe you were burned by someone in the past, not getting recognized. Maybe people, like, even stole your work or, like, something happened that led you not to trust um, your resources with other people. So you might be kind of holding on to them strong. Maybe you're worried that you won't get a promotion or won't get the job you want or won't get something, um, the relationship you want. So you're, like, holding things close because you're worried about what will happen this month. We have two fours here, so this has to do with like your foundations. So, and that makes sense because we have the tower here. Like maybe things have been a little shaky, and you're unsure of what's going on. So, for more information with the Hermit reversed. So, perhaps this could be you. Um, being actually like a hermit when it's reversed it can be like really hiding away from things maybe the four of pentacles kind of does that too kind of just keeping to yourself um sometimes it could be like being hyper social to avoid the issues but it seems like overall this card to me is, is saying like just keeping yourself and avoiding the issues but we do have the garden card that came out earlier which is about like being in public um getting out more being recognized more so Perhaps this has more to do with you going into this month, or maybe you're being hyper social and getting out more to avoid some sort of commitment, or that maybe you going out is how you figure this out. But let's see. So, for recent past, we have the King of Pentacles. So, maybe things have been up until this tower moment recently, things could be really good. You've been working well. This could also be another person in your life that perhaps has shaken things up. The one I alluded to that kind of hurt you, this could be like a boss energy, too. Um, someone who, uh, yeah, is abundant. Sometimes can be a little arrogant, but they are all about their material possessions and they're abundant in all good things, pretty much. And can definitely be a boss, um, someone who works in the financial field. But again, this could be you too. Just, you know, things have been going well, stable. Things are happening slowly, but surely. You could be, or you could be dealing with a, a Taurus too. We have Virgo energy with the Hermit, so that could be a Virgo. Capricorn is you. You guys are an you know, earth sign. Um, and what you expect to happen, we have the nine of wands. So, yeah, I feel like you guys have really been through it. You guys are like wounded warriors. You Whatever's been going on, maybe you've been working hard to increase your financial status, working hard to get this promotion. That seems to be a thing. Um, and you expect to hang on, and you're doing your job. You're a hard worker, but... It seems like you might need a little rest, especially with this Four of Swords reverse going into the month. So I, I think you don't expect to rest. I think you expect to keep on working. Um, what you're afraid of, we have a commitment card. What are you afraid to commit to, Capricorn? Is this a person? A job? Maybe there's some hesitation on committing to sign a lease, to sign, you know, a prenup. I don't know why that came to mind. Perhaps that's for some of you guys. Um, this, sign like working like you know to commit to staying in the same job but i'm definitely getting there is some fear of commitment going on here whatever it is and it likely has to do with another person or your career and what you want you know why you're afraid of commitment you want some a new beginning you want something different than what you have right now maybe that's why you're hiding away from committing to whatever this is and not feeling abundant anymore. See this king's alone there. Maybe you're, you know, just doing their own thing. Maybe you want to work for yourself, want to live by yourself, want to start be like literally be by yourself and not be in a relationship. But you're you're really wanting to transform your life and do something different. Take a leap of faith. Like cuz what you have right now, like you want to be comfortable, you want to be happy. And it doesn't seem to be and you're just not really sure maybe if it's the right path for you right now and that could be why you're kind of 
hiding away from making this commitment or signing the papers or being hypersocial or the opposite. Um, I feel like you're really keeping busy whatever way you're doing so and not resting because there, there's some fear about coming to terms or literally signing some papers because you want something new and nothing's wrong with that. But it seems like you have to make a decision this month and in the first two weeks, well here, let's see what, for other energies and outside influences, we have the world reversed. Yeah, I really feel like you feel trapped in your current situation, whatever it is for you. This is a general read. And look it, isn't that interesting? What you want is what you're not getting currently. This is like the exact same image, right? The cat looks a little plumper here. I'm <laughs> well fun. Um, no, it's pretty much just a, you know, just a different look. Uh, <laughs> Looks like my cat. Oh my god, looks like Emmy. Emmy, come here! She's a calico and has the same coloring. Emmy! She's sleeping, sorry. <laughs> um, but okay, what you guys want is what you're not getting this month. So I think you guys are going to be making some changes because you're going to realize this. This is so interesting. Because it's okay to want something different. And I think you're, if you don't know what you want right now, I feel like this is the month you're kind of getting clear on what you want, you know? Or what you don't want at least. And for some of you guys, if it's relating to a job, you might be leaving your job for something else to find that happiness, to find a new beginning. Because for the first two weeks, we have the Ace of Coins reversed. So maybe you'll take a financial hit in some way. It's not a huge one, but this can mean um, for some loss of job or leaving a job, or maybe taking, using some of the money you have and spending it on yourself to find out what you want, to try new things, to get out there. This isn't something like the Ace of Coins isn't like losing like $100,000. You know, it's like just spending money or losing a small amount of money in some way or um, something material. And since we have the garden, you might be getting out more. Maybe you're taking a vacation. You're just like trying to find yourself and find what you want before you commit to whatever this is. And for the final two weeks, we have the moon. So I feel like you might still not be entirely clear what you want by the end of the month, but that's okay. It's not, I mean, that would be crazy if you just all of a sudden started to think about what you want and you found out that fast. You need to do some trial and error. Um, I love how there's like a little cat face in the moon. Maybe you're just getting out there and trying new things, meeting different types of people than what you're used to, exploring your spirituality, get, like going out more at night, because I feel like maybe you've been in hermit mode for a while, work mode. So, I really see that you're you're exploring, you're finding more about yourself with this um, book card, to, or yeah, book. It's like you are exploring, you're learning more, you're trying to figure out like the mysteries of life, like what the mysteries of you, your inner self, and really, that's a good thing. Do you, like find who you are. Don't just be like slave to the nine to five you know I know we have to have our obligations and stuff like obviously don't like quit your job if you're not going to have a place to live or something you know but I think you guys probably are okay because for the past we have you as the king of pentacles um or for some of you this represents you but if you're afraid of commitment and you want a new beginning I think this is great I think you're spending money to, on new hobbies getting out vacation maybe just finding out what you want instead of holding on to your cash and holding on to it you know and just wondering wondering what there is out there in the world because what what's going on now, this is confirmation. If you don't feel very happy about it, maybe it is time to get out there and explore your interest, explore new things, new places you've never been. Wow, well, spirit. Gemini, yeah, time to be more social and curious. Curious. In the North Node. Yeah, you guys are realizing what your current thing is. Is not in the, is this the sixth house or ninth house? Okay. Ninth house. Um, you're realizing that maybe your current situation isn't isn't for you, like isn't your destiny, and you you are figuring out that you need to get out there and explore and be more curious and see the bigger picture. The ninth house is out, the bigger picture, spirituality, like just overall life in general. Like just you're getting like a new perspective or trying to find a new perspective of the world, and you're going out and exploring before you commit to something and you are you might be starting a whole new cycle of life because like we this is like an ace to this ring 
it's like can be commitment or just starting a, a new cycle and I feel like you, you are um and you could be more social getting out more tr long distance travel could be here but you're really going after what you want or you're trying to figure out what you want this is confirming it to me be curious learn new things try new things the time is now especially if you're questioning sticking to the lease or the job you are currently in so spirit what else do you have what message final message for capricorn okay hand fasting or 17 the poles I haven't even been looking to see if you guys can see. Hopefully you can. The poles pulse through all that I am. No hidden form is left untouched. I am willing. I am risking. For I yearn for unity spilled lustrously upon my lips. I'm going to get the book. I love this deck. I haven't used it in a while. I felt called to for these readings. And it's been really, really awesome for all the readings so far. Unity. Yeah, me, you might be seeking a commitment with someone or just something... A union, a union that is more... Okay, let's see what it says. You do not have to go it alone, sacred one, as help and support are available to you. These are people in your, in your orbit who wish to be a part of your sacred journey. It can feel as though you are taking a risk in trusting someone else with the most important parts of your life. This is true. But partnerships have the potential to transform into lifelong systems of support and joy if you let them. You have pulled hand fastings because your situation requires the help of another. If you are struggling in your business or career, consider finding a business partner with the skills you lack. If you are struggling to complete a project on your own, seek a guide or mentor who can teach you the methods so you don't have to waste your time. If you're struggling to make ends meet, consider asking loved ones for a little bit of help. There is no shame in seeking a helping hand, especially from those who are already devoted to you. This is what partnerships are about. They are a give and take without keeping score. Interesting. This is also another spin on what we've been talking about with commitment and with other people. And there's a lot of energy of being alone. If you want to be alone, obviously do that. But maybe with the Hermit Reverse, maybe you just need a mentor or someone to ask some questions to when you're on this new journey. Um, you don't have to go at it alone. And not all people are bad. But I feel like whatever this new cycle and new journey is for you, you're going to meet people that make you feel safe and supportive. Because I feel like someone maybe burned you in the past, you know, it was deceptive. But that doesn't mean you have to shun people forever, you know. Um, but that is what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope this resonated and was helpful. I really love doing this reading for you. I feel like this is a really big time in your life. So I wish you the best of luck. Have a great month. I love you so much. I will link down in the description the August pick a card if you haven't seen that yet, if you want to watch that. Um, and also I'll be posting all these videos. I think you're the fifth one I've done. Um, you can watch your Sun, Moon, Rising or whatever you feel called to or the August pick a card to get more information. Uh, but yeah, no matter what you decide to do, I love you. Bye Capricorn.